All right, uh, we're continuing uh, playing with a CD4069 UB uh, part. Uh, it's an unbuffered CMOS part. Uh, I've got a couple other videos. You can watch them before this one. Um, we're going to be looking at a particular circuit that uses this, uh, this chip. And I've lost it. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. There we go. We're going to be looking at this one. Um, it is a frequency doubler. Okay, so we're going to enter one frequency and double the frequency comes out of the thing. All right, and it's going to be using one, two, three, four, five, six. So it uses every single gate inside the package and uh, it comes in and part of it goes through a capacitor and then part of it gets inverted and then goes through a capacitor and then they go into a weird diode thing. So the diode only passes negative things. So if this one goes negative, it'll pull down. If this one goes negative, it'll pull down. And then this resistor here keeps it pulled up when these guys aren't pulling down. And then it gets buffered one more time for fun. So you can use up all the gates and uh, we'll go from there. All right, over here, I have the circuit. Uh, it's quite ugly, <laughs> but uh, it's all in there. A bunch of resistors and capacitors and diodes and everything, all the same values on the uh, schematic here. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, get this thing to work on the oscilloscope. And my scope's been having problems. Uh, I don't know why, but it's decided to not boot for some strange reason. All right, let's go to the uh waveform generator let's turn that on and let's take a look at what we got over down here all right uh so i have uh, 18.3 kilohertz going in and 36.7 kilohertz coming out let's make those uh even numbers here or let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and just make it variable here we go Click on this one, and now that makes this an active, uh, active wheel for that particular uh, at that particular thing. So we can we can slow it down here to say, uh, let's see here. Come on, you can do it. Oh, not waveform intensity. How did I get to waveform intensity? <laughs> uh, what did I do? I must have pushed some, probably, probably touched something. I, I should turn off the, uh, the touch, turn off the toucher. There we go. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's turn on a couple things here. Um, this is the input waveform and this is the output waveform. This is the input frequency. This is the output frequency. And so we can go quite slow. Uh, let's say. You know, 10 kilohertz coming in, 20 kilohertz going out. So this particular circuit will work um, up to about 100 kilohertz. Let's see. Oh, 144, it's still work. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to not work. You can see here that we're not quite working at 150. Uh, 83, we're working. 15, we're not. Right about in here somewhere. Oh, kind of hard. To, right about in there. Right at about 158 kilohertz, we are no longer getting that second little, uh, that second little spike there. Um, now, if you needed to square this up, you could run it into a uh, flip-flop and make it a 50% duty cycle again, but uh, we have, we have uh, doubled the clock. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, we are, um, so we are using these capacitors to pull off positive positive pulses. So there's a, a, a 47k resistor pulling it down and then any positive voltage will kick this up. So normally it's at ground and then any little positive edge will come this and then we're going to invert it so the negative going edges also become positive going edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to create 
a positive going edge on both. All right, so let me show you one of the intermediate states. Um, let's take a look at the uh, one of those capacitors. Um, so here's one of the capacitors. So it's letting through a positive edge, right? It's letting through that positive, and that will give you uh, something on that on that thing there. And then if we look at the other side, uh, we go through an inverter, and then we get to look at positive edges over there. So you can see when this is uh, going the other direction, we're getting a positive. So we got a positive on that one, we got a positive on that one, with these little blips. And then we wire or those together, those two diodes do kind of a wire or you either get one one of the pulses or the other pulse and then uh, they get uh, uh, each each one gets to contribute so there you go that's how that circuit works um, okay that was the circuit for the day a frequency doubler with a 4069 uh, some guy sam is that sam or sami i don't know looks like sam sam uh, uh May of uh, 02 came up with this circuit. I don't know where it came from. Um, I do searches online. I never, then I figure out, I don't ever remember where they came from. <laughs> so don't ask me. Don't ask me to point to this because I don't know where it is any longer. Anyway, there you go. Frequency doubler.